In Affinity Photo, how to add transparency to a shape. Now this started as a very basic circle and you can create all kinds of designs from circles using transparency. So just go over here, ellipse tool, create that and set it to a color. Now you can set it to any color of course, gradient maybe, but I'm just gonna go with red. Once I've done that, what I can now do is go to filters. But if I apply filters, sometimes the effect is spread across the entire image. So what I like to do, go to select and selection from layer. I know it looks a bit odd, just get the selection, but it limits the range of the effect. So then go to filters, go down to colors and procedural texture. Now you can do all kinds of different effects with procedural textures, but great thing, you've got some presets. So presets, just go down for smooth bars. And now you get these lovely lines. And you can modify a number of those. Now I'm gonna go for something like 50. So 50, you can of course use more or less, or 100. Even though the figure it actually shows does seem a bit odd considering you can't actually see 100. So maybe go for 100 there to get something like that. And also you can modify smooth size so you get sharper lines. However, what I want is not the solid color, I want some transparency. And you'll notice at the end, you've got this A. So you can deselect that, deselect that, deselect that one, and then just click here. And now you can see through, you can see through there, and you can then click apply. And you can see the effect isn't applied across the entire image, which is not what I want. So select and deselect. And now you can manipulate this. What you can also do is with the move tool selected, you can simply press return or enter on the keyboard, bring up this panel. Now you could create multiple copies, but you can simply just go duplicate. And also you can just use it to rotate and you can create all kinds of different designs. You can see as you do that, you think, you know what? That looks pretty good. Now, of course you could just do it and then rotate it. But I think it's just easier just doing it from this panel and then click okay. You've got two, two layers. Well, you can select both of them. So both selected, then you can right click and you go down here and you can group. So group them. Reason for the grouping, I want to now rasterize it. So go here, layer, and down here to rasterize. So rasterize it and it turns it into all a single layer and it's now a pixel layer. I can go here to effects, so just click here. And in here I can go for say 3D, so I can quickly add 3D, change the radius, so get something like that, go with 15 or something. And also if you want, you can always go and add an outer shadow. So outer shadow, and you can increase that, put it about middle, so you get this lovely shadow effect. Now also what you can do is you can change the color of the shadow. I don't want black, I want red. So I'm just gonna go with a red design, so it's all red design. But also a nice feature about this, click here, you'll notice at the bottom, you've also got a noise effect. So you can add some noise to the shadow as well. Just creates a slightly different shadow effect. So with that, I can close it. Now this design, I can then manipulate further. I can keep it live like this as with the shadow effect, but also what I can do, I can rasterize it again. So right click and down to rasterize. But this time, just deselect that and rasterize. So everything's all blended into one. So the effect, as well as the original design, is all one actual pixel layer. Now I can apply effects. I can simply just go here to filters, distort and deform. So just select that, and you can then add some pins. And with that, you can distort it. So you can just stretch it, so you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful sort of grid designs like this, very quick and easy. And I'm just going to drag it out like that, stretch it off that way, stretch it off that way, and stretch it off that way. And as you can see, I can stretch it there and there. Why do I actually push it outwards? Well, because what I like to do also is to apply a gain. And if you do it the other way, it just shrinks inwards. And I just want it to be spread over the entire image. So click apply. Ah, oh, made a slight mistake. There's always sometimes if you don't look, move it around you don't notice that it's not all distorted. 
So once you've done that, you can also go to filters and repeat deform. And you can see, you can create a variety of different designs from the same basic shape. And you've got this. And of course you can manipulate it with other filters as well. And of course you can also duplicate the design as well. So hold down the alter option key and you can drag and you've got that and duplicate that design. You can also apply effects to this. So just go here to pixel layer, go to effects, click there, and you can go to maybe 3D, you can add that again. So slight change there, creates an interesting combination between the two. But also you can go here to color overlay. So you don't have to go with red, maybe go for different, maybe go with a blue and so on. And again, add noise in if you want. So you can get a noise effect added to your design. So I'm just gonna reduce that and click close. Also what we can do is you can use this, go to the blend modes and you can combine. So you can just go through here, overlay, maybe use hue set. Now, you'll notice what the problem is. It's not doing what you think it should do. It shouldn't, it, you think, oh, it blend. Well, what you need to do is just right click, make some rasterize that. So yeah, all rasterize, rasterize, and now you will see the effect you think you should see. So you can go through there and change those. So difference to that. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Finzi Photo, Photoshop, and many other applications. Bye.